Uh, maybe we'll kind of bring this full circle as well to say, all right, now that we've got some of these configured, can we actually start sending some test signals? Right? How could I send a test signal on our computer? Something as simple as a ping? Right? I could try pinging the other computers, things that are available. So let, let, let's try actually testing our networking service here and try sending a test signal. So if you think about the diagram with what I've configured, what should I be able to ping from this 192.168.118.2 device? It's like, well, I should be able to ping the 192.168.118.1 device. Right? I should be able to ping the internal side of that router. So let's try that. Let's let's try sending a test signal over there. Let's see if see if I've got things set up accordingly. Ping 192.168.118. Oops, let's type it 118.1, and we'll see. Hey, yeah, it's responding. Right. So we're sending test signals kind of nonstop, and the, the the travel time here is less than a millisecond. When things are less than a millisecond, it's like you're on the same network and things are going really fast. And ping inside Linux computers just will ping nonstop. So you will have uh, some commands like this that will just run infinitely. And so if you ever have an infinitely running command that you need to interrupt, you can press Control C. Control C is kind of the interrupt signal, and it will interrupt commands that are running inside an infinite loop. So Control C to, to go ahead and stop that ping. Um, this should also work in the other direction as well, right? So if I'm on the CentOS side, this should have the ability to also ping, right? I could do the same thing, ping the 192.168.118.2 device. So it should be able to ping back to the Ubuntu computer. All right, and we give that a try, and it's like, yes, hey, the, the test signals can go both ways. The ping is actually working in both directions. Let's press Control C to stop that. We'll interrupt that with a Control C. All right, can the Ubuntu computer right now ping the Kali computer? All right, let's think about that diagram, right? What is this connected to? This is connected to 172.20. This is not connected to the 192.168.118. They're on different networks. And so just because the wires might be there, the wires might be plugged in, but if they're not logically connected to the same network, the pings are going to fail. So yeah, let, let, let's give this a try from the Ubuntu computer. All right, if I try pinging something like, whoop, we'll do a ping and then 172.20.118.100, right? That's where my Kali machine should be. And it just says network is unreachable. All right, so if your device cannot actually find the network you're trying to get to, you'll get this error. All right, so this is a really critical error to understand what's happening. You're trying to send signals to a network that you can't see. All right, and so that's something that ends up, you know, just fa f failing flat out. Just nope, not, not actually a reachable network. Okay, this is different than trying to ping a device on your network that doesn't exist. Okay, I'm trying to ping a network that I can't even reach. So let's see what I mean. So if I try pinging a device like 192.168.118 dots and then 100, this is where my internal Kali machine is supposed to be, but I haven't configured it yet. Right, that internal Kali machine hasn't been brought online yet. So yeah, th this, this is going to try sending the test signals. I can reach that network, but that host, the host number 100 is currently unreachable. And so this is, of course, what will happen if you're, you're trying to reach a particular device, but that host isn't responding. And again, we can interrupt this with a control C to say, yeah, it's not online. And until we bring it online, that's, that, that signal there is going to fail. So there's a difference between you can reach the network, but don't see the device versus I can't even reach the network. And of course, that's one of the goals here for this entire exercise is, well, if you configure the router to actually route traffic, and if you configure the website to use this as its gateway, then yes, you will eventually be able to route traffic across the router and out to the other network. But until that happens with this base configuration, no, right? That's, that's not actually going to work. So what can the Kali computer ping, right? So if we go to our Kali computer, oh, we're already on it here. So if I go to my Kali computer and I go to the terminal, which one can this one reach? This one should be able to reach the external side of the router, right? This one can ping the 172.20. What was it? 118.1. That was the outside, and when I try pinging that, it's like, yes, that one is actually responding. All right, so this one could reach the website. The website was at the 172.20.0.1. All right, it's loading the website. I can reach the website. I can reach the external side of the router, but I can't reach internal and actually find the website on, uh, from an internal perspective. Um, if we go to the the the, uh, the scent machine, this one, of course, can also ping the Kali machine back, right? So this one could also ping the 172.20.118.100, right? It ends up going and pinging back both ways. So the router, because it's sitting on both networks right now, can actually see both sides and can ping both networks. But what hasn't been configured yet, of course, is to actually do the routing. 
All right, so that's of course something we'll take a look at here in a future section, um, but we're first just trying to understand the basics of the networking so we can troubleshoot the, the most fundamental problems first. Um, and that, that's definitely something that's critical. How do you test this stuff and, and kind of continue to improve things? And, and definitely as a, as a big tip, this is something you're gonna wanna do a lot on your competition day is say, let's understand the diagram and let's understand what does it mean if I can reach from one place to like the next device, but I can't seem to reach any further it can tell you a bit about where the breakdown might actually be happening in your configuration. So nevertheless, it, it takes a lot of practice, but uh, you know that, that's, that's what we're here and that's what we're trying to do.